Android. I'm with Blake Beaven of the Bridgeport Bluefish. Blake, you're drafted as the 17th overall pick in the 2007 draft by the Texas Rangers. Obviously, you grew up near the Rangers ballpark in Arlington in Texas. What was your reaction to getting drafted so early in the draft and to be drafted by the Rangers? That must have been really special for you. Yeah, I mean, it's the greatest time of your life. You know, it's something you dream about as a kid. And, um, you know, when you're when you're that age, everybody wants to play in the major leagues. Um, you know, you go to the games early and get autographs and watch some of your favorite guys growing up wherever your hometown team is. Mine was the Rangers, so just kind of made it that more, you know, of a special moment for me when they called my name uh, at that time. 2010, you were part of that blockbuster trade for Cliff Lee, who went from Seattle to Texas. First off, how were you told you were getting traded and your reaction to the news? And second off all, what did that mean to you to get traded for a player of that caliber who really helped the Rangers in their World Series run that year? Uh, I think my initial reaction, I was in AAA. I just got up to AAA with um, Texas, and they kind of told me right when I got to uh, go into the field, I had a phone call that said I had been traded and um, didn't know really how to take it. I was kind of shocked more than anything. And then when I got to the field, uh, everybody had found out as well. And um, they were excited for me just for maybe an opportunity just because of the trade was with a big name guy. Um, but for me at the time, I was kind of upset uh, just because Texas was a team I wanted to play for, just being drafted by them. And playing in Oklahoma City, it was only a two and a half hour drive from home. So uh, going all the way to the north, uh, you know, up in the north uh, part of Seattle was definitely a different for me growing up down in the southern states so um but seattle gave him my opportunity and uh could be more thankful you know for them taking a chance on me and getting uh you know some good playing time with them definitely now throughout your four years then majors with the mariners you struggle with consistency a little bit but definitely had some really uh, big uh, good moments in the major leagues i can think off the top of my head couple innings against the Angels you went, where you went eight innings, eight innings against Tampa, a one-hitter in six and two-thirds against the Yankees. What is that like when you're in the zone and your pitches are working well against you know some of the best players in the world, really? Uh, it's nice. I mean, it just le- it kind of gives you a little bit more assurance and uh, confidence that you can do it and uh, that your stuff plays at this level. Uh, that's the biggest thing. I think guys want to know that um, the work you put in at AAA and, and your stuff works at that next level. So, uh, you know, for me, it showed and, um, you know, had some really good times up there and not so good times. But everybody goes through the inconsistent part up there. That's part of, you know, learning, learning the pitcher you are and learning your craft and, you know, realizing what you need to do to get better. And then, you know, you just got to have the opportunity for a team to let you figure it out and uh, let you go through those struggles. You know, that's the hardest thing about uh, – the major leagues is a lot of the times you don't get you don't get a lot of chances to go through a, a bump in the road like you do in the minor league. So, um, you know, when you get up there, just knowing that you have to be consistent day in, day out, I think is the toughest part of uh, pitching up there. 2012, you were part of a perfect game against the Chicago White Sox. Fortunately, on the other side of the perfect game, pitching against Philip Humber, who threw a perfect game for the Sox. Uh, what do you remember about being part of that game? And by the last couple outs, are you kind of rooting for the guy to get the perfect game, or are you, like, praying that someone gets a hit off him by the end of it? Uh, I mean, I, I definitely think the hitters want to get a hit off of him. Um, you know, I don't think anybody wants a perfect game thrown against him if you're a positional player. Um, but, you know, I, th- I think I had a pretty good outing that day, and, um, you know, he got to tip your hat when a guy does what he does. I think anybody that loves the game of baseball – obviously wants to see history and wants to see things done that's kind of what makes the game special and uh, I know that's probably one of his best moments of his life you know throwing a perfect game and I'm kind of honored to be a part of it even though I was on the losing side of it it was it's always fun to see guys you know dominate the game you know that day are there any guys in the major leagues that you either played with or against then I don't want to use the word starstruck but kind of like you know, took a step back and re- realized, man, you know, I'm playing on the same field as this guy or that guy or whoever. Yeah, I mean, you know, getting to play with Felix, one of the best guys in the game, uh, is obviously cool. Um, you know, one of the best guys um, to be around in the clubhouse and as a teammate. And, uh, you know, I think the first time I ever got, I guess, real starstruck uh, was meeting Tory Hunter. Oh, yeah. 
um, after the Angels outing that I pitched against him. You know, he had nothing but nice things to say. Uh, I was 22 at the time, so, you know, I was wet behind the ears, and he just, you know, kind of told me, pumped my head up a little bit and told me uh, if I kept working hard and, you know, kept working on my craft that that I would uh, be in this game for a long time. So to hear that from a guy that's done such great things and probably a Hall of Famer um, in the future, you know, it's uh, encouraging. Who are some of the toughest hitters that you got to face against in your career? Uh, you know, Big Poppy stands out to me. Um, Adrian Beltre. Uh, those those two guys, um, Beltre for sure, just because we were in the West and we played him a lot. Um, those two guys stand out to me. Uh, and Big Poppy, just because I faced him, you know, probably 10 or 12 times. And uh, he always seemed to, to just either, you know, hard hit ball somewhere for an out or he would or he would just – you know, crush a ball off me too. So I think I gave up three home runs against him. So he's uh, he's just a good hitter, man. I mean, that's that's part of the big leagues. So everybody can hit up there, but guys like him and Beltre separate themselves from others. Now, last year you spent with the Arizona Diamondbacks at their AAA for half the year. You suffered an injury over there. Can you talk about the injury you sustained over in Arizona and how the staff treated you over there? Yeah, I mean, coming into Arizona last year, I knew I had a really good opportunity of, you know, them taking a look at me as far as a rotation or if not uh, bullpen, um, just because I could do both. Um, but, you know, I suffered a foot injury that I missed all spring training with, which really hurt me. Uh, and then by the time I got out to AAA, it was almost May or the end of April. And, uh, you know, probably rushed back a little too soon, just trying to get back and pitch. Um, and shoulder gave out on me. and my fourth start in and uh you know i had a tear in my shoulder which is pretty significant career ending type injury so uh i took the last 12 months off you know rehabbing and building my arm strength back up and getting back into shape uh before coming to bridgeport so that's kind of been a long journey for me and uh you know still working things out here and getting better um with my stuff, but every week I feel like I'm getting stronger, so it feels it feels good just to be on the field again. Yeah. Now, final question: You're here with the uh, Bridgeport Bluefish now in the Atlantic League. You have to play independent ball. The Atlantic League is usually the place people want to play at. What was your connection to coming here to Bridgeport, and what does it mean to be able to play on the field again and pitch here in Bridgeport? I didn't have a connection here. Uh, my agent said these guys contacted him, and they knew I was wanting to get back at it again and prove prove to major league teams and affiliates that I'm healthy and uh, hopefully come here and show that and uh, you know getting to come out here and be on the field every day and and throw a ball again without pain is I mean it's the biggest blessing I've ever had um, going from a guy that was always healthy and then uh, you know getting that kind of news is kind of dark place in my life but come a long way from there and uh, you know I've just kind of never looked back since since that moment and kind of take every day like it's my last. Blake, appreciate it. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you.